sofa6.co.uk Sponsors of The Haze Out. Indeed. Whoa! You may, you may, have, <laughs> you may hear strange noises tonight. We've got parrots going crackers in the background here. Hello. Good evening. Oh, dearie me! They've heard me, haven't they, Chris? They have. Right. I'm sorry, but they have, and they're two rooms away. Well, I shall do something. I have done it. Right. That shouldn't affect. I'll hear it, but uh, the viewing public won't because I've just knocked it down a little bit on my mixing desky thing for the time being. Um, hello, good evening and welcome. It's Thursday night, it's uh, the 28th of March and according to my clock it's 9.01 and 6 seconds which just can't be right. The time's jumping about all over the place tonight as Chris and I just noticed. Um, and I'm here by myself on me Todd, on me Jack. Look, nobody, no Keith, no Bobo, no nothing, just me. So I'm just going to sit and talk to you and we'll look at some product tonight. And I've got Chris standing by in, ca in case we need to have a natter about anything. So it should all be dead good and brilliant and it's lovely to see you all and I'll be reading chat and stuff and it's going to be completely off the cuff. I just feel like doing that tonight because we've been so political for the last two, three weeks. I just want to have a kickback and a good time and hope we can all have a little bit of fun so it'll all be good. And no, Keith isn't a kip in the corner, Gary Wood. I wish he was. But never mind, let's get on with it. Here come the titles. No, the titles. Eighty nine. Right, we're on. We're back on and we're live and we're here and there's echo and everything's just going here, there and everywhere. It's gonna be one of those nights, Chris, isn't it? It is. But we like those nights. That's that's fine. It'll be absolutely fine. There's not a damn thing to worry about in any way, shape or form. I've got a few bits and bobs to look at tonight. Um I'm gonna you know we went we had this knees up uh it was two weeks ago now, Chris? It is, yes. Fortnight ago, we had the knees up, and, and as per usual, because it's up here, um, because it's local, and because I like everybody, I went, as you do, but I've decided I'm never going to one again, because it's cost us a barrel load of money. Because Bob was there, old git, and he talks like that, come up from Dan if he did, and he says, I bet you can't do an old bloody show talking like that, don't, and I says, I can. So I might, I don't know, I'll see how it goes. We'll give it a try. This is specifically for old git. And he had this thing, he had, a, uh, what's it called? A roller. It's called a roller is what he had. And it was nice. Nice, nice piece of kit it was. And I had to look at it and it felt nice in the end. And I thought myself, I might as well have one of them. I thought, I can't keep that up. It hurts. Can you not? It hurts. Oh. Can't keep it up. It hurts. So he's won his bet. So I bought a dingo which apparently is like a roller, only it doesn't stretch. Non-stretchy dingo, so I've got one of those. And an EVOD starter kit has arrived, he said, pressing the right button. An EVOD starter kit has arrived. We're going to have a look at that, an unboxing, and kind of a first look, and decide whether it's nice or it's nasty. And then I've got something else that I'd never heard of before. This is an Ego RS. It's an Ego RS. Never heard of one before, and it's quite different from your standard Ego battery, he said, speaking perfectly as you do. And, 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 and we're going to have a look at those and talk about bits of kit that every vapor needs to have. Whether they're just starting out or whether they're all stages, there's bits of kit that everybody needs to have. If we've got time, we'll get there. Question is where to start. And I think I want to be kind of beginnery tonight. I'm going to be kind of beginnery. 
and we'll start with the AVOD kit. So cue closey up he cam. Closey up he cam is closey up he cam is cued. I'm falling all over everywhere here. This is ridiculous. Right. Oh, I see. Somebody's just said very boring. Said, is it faster than normal e sig the RS for rally sport? No, 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 no. You'll see. But that's later. It's later. Cue closey up he cam, and here we have. He said, look at, and you can tell what colour it is because it says on the box. It's written. That's that's written in Daz's own handwriting. For this has come up from Safer Sigs. And as you can see, shiny, shiny bit where the e-cig is. But let's get it opened up. Take the lid off. And it's for once, it's a not a not a magnetic lid on it. I'll get a shot of that and put that on the floor. And as you can see quite easily, there's two whole e-cigs in here one of which i'll freely admit i've had out and i've charged up and i have filled and the other one of which is there let's just take the top section off for the moment place it out of look and then look what you can see it even has this card that gives you voltages that the manufacturer thinks will go with the different resistances of coil that you can get and as you can see you can get a 1.7 to 1.9, nominally 1.8, 2.1 to 2.3, nominally 2.2, 2.4, 2.6, nominally 2.5, and 2.6 to 3, which is somewhere in the middle of the term, I can't work it out, 2.8. That would be 2.8. Um, and that applies apparently to all bottom coil heating clearomizers. Um, and the voltages are there that they think you would want to use them at. So there's that nice little card. But then, but da 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 da! Oops, sorry about that, Chris. I sang um, an EVOD user manual, and look, it's there, and it's readable in proper English. Before using, assemble the coil unit, and so on and so on and so forth. All proper English. Look, manual, book of words, how to use it, all of that kind of thing. I like that. I really, really like that one. And Moonlit has spotted why Keith's not on. Because the EVODs would do a disappearing act pronto. Actually, no. It's, uh, I'll just go to full frame. It's why I'm doing the EVODs tonight. Is because he's not here. Otherwise, they'd be away. Absolutely away. But back to the plot. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. So you get that. And then, the USB charger, I'll freely admit, is, is pretty much bog standard charger. It's not in the box because I'm using it elsewhere so i'll move that out of the way um but the coil unit let's get that out of the box put the rest of the box out the way and these are evod coil units but look how many of them you get shall we count them there are if i can undo there come out do it on camera david so people can see what you're doing I told you it was going to be one of them count them one two three four five and one in each of the two cartomizers so you've got seven but five at two pound fifty a pop would be twelve pound fifty the whole kit and caboodle is only 42 quid that's all it is 42 quid for the full setup and i think that's a bargain i really do now no doubt people who have not come across the evod before will want to know how it works uh, so I shall take the one that is not filled, which would be, where's it gone? Come on, David. There you go. I shall take this one, clear the decks, and let's go back to closey up you come, and I'll try and show you around it a little bit, because I really quite like the look of this thing. Dink. Right, now, there it is in all its glory. And as you will be able to see, put it so that the e the right way up, that little switch is flush. And look at that in stainless. Isn't that just gorgeous? No, that's with every order, Sam Munro. He's just asking, is that sent with every order or just David's box? That is every order. And yes, as Mark Shaw has said in chat, it looks really classy. It matches top and bottom. Um, and it's a one, two, three hole, three air holes in there. I think that looks delicious be even better if it would focus properly um, that looks absolutely gorgeous I really do like the way that looks 
Um, in use, in use, right. So how do you fill it? Well, if I can unscrew the battery, which you will note has the full ego threading, full ego threading on there. We'll just put that to one side. Um, as we have demonstrated before, it's a bottom coil. That there is the whole of the bottom coil lot, and this screws out. Comme ça, screws in. Comme ça, that's French for like that. Okay, and then you fill this bit. And I'm going to fill it with some DY4 on the recommendation of Dave Kitson because he says it tastes nice. So DY4 and you literally just as Andy Sutton has done in the past drip it down the side. Now I'm going to try and do this towards the camera so that you can see that it's dead easy to fill. Do -de -dup -dup -da. Yeah you need to be able to watch what you're doing and you kind of I've managed to drop some down the centre tube as ever was but never mind doesn't matter it just drips onto the paper that's why the paper's there and then you screw that unit the coil unit back in like that and actually if you turn it over that bit that dripped down will just prime the coil up nicely so you don't have to wait too long for it all to sort itself out then the whole lot screws back on top there now one of the one of the bits i really do like about this is that it just matches up it really does match up now i already like the kanga mt3 and the evod being a kanga unit is kind of a mt3 mini mt3 minor if you would call it that i suppose um it's kind of a shorter version of the mt3 now i've got an mt3 here and if I put the two side by side, you can see that there is a, a definite difference. Ah, close you up you can, David. I'm not on form tonight, I do apologise, but there we go. Put the two together and you can see that there is a substantial difference in length. Um, the MT3 will take 3 to 3.4 mils. The EVOD takes 2.4 mils. Um, so it's a mil less than the MT3. But in use, I have to say got my normal juice in this one and the button is so positive that's really rather pleasant I think extremely pleasant in fact I should have the musical e-cigs like Andy used to have you know Whenever he took a drag, you would get this music going on behind. Um, but with the DY4 in, let's give it a blast with that. And that's... Oh, haha. As per usual, five, five clicky switchy on offy. You always forget these things, don't you? Go to camera two, David. Camera two, five clickies. One, two, three, four, five. In two seconds. Come on, there you go. Nice little flash. Tells you it's working. And off we go. Mm-hmm. I'm liking that. that. My God, that's rather pleasant. You see why Mr. Kitson likes it. Um, it's stylish. It's 42 quid. It's a whole starter kit. What's not the like about it? Chris, have you played with the EVODs? I have played with the EVOD. Um, I have one. I don't have the full unit, but I'm rectifying that as we speak. <laughs> Not. Um, because I'm actually putting an order in right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> You're kidding me, aren't you? I hate doing these damn shows. They cost me a fortune. Um, but <laughs> it, <laughs> I've got the Evon on top of the, the EVIC. Mm -hmm. I'm all ease tonight. Um, and I think it's lovely. I've, it, the flavour doesn't drop off. It's quite intense on flavour. And if you're a vapour person, there's plenty of that, isn't there? Well, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting shed loads of vapour out of this thing. And the flavour, as you say, is uh, is something to write home about. Is what it, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm here to tell you, if Keith was sat in here to my left-hand side, he would see 
that there are two in the kit and I can almost guarantee that one of them would be top pocketed and I'd be frisking him before he went out. <laughs> um, it, the flavour is gorgeous. I mean, this the DY4, um, it's not like RY4 in my view, but it's very, very pleasant in this. It's gorgeous. Loads of flavour. Loads of flavour. So what colour are you ordering up, Chris? Silver. Silver or stainless? Well, stainless. Same thing. That's what I'm ordering. But this damn internet problem that's going on, this... Um, what is it? This problem where they've slowed everything down is causing me problems. So wait, people, if you're going to order one, wait like get my order in, will you? <laughs> I'm looking for my own phone number at the moment because I've got to fill that in. I can't help right. you there. I've got it programmed into my phone. Yeah, um... <laughs> I've said before I'm the world's worst reviewer uh, and this is very, very much a first look. But I've been using EVOD um, atomizers, cartomizers, BCCs, call them what you will, for three or four or five weeks now. And I've not had one leak on me yet. The flavour does seem to last very well. But just looking at this with five, and I'm pretty sure, he said, looking at them, that they're all the... Uh, are they all the same or are they all are they all different? It's all marked on the bodies, but it's very, very difficult for me to see them. My eyes are old. My eyes are dim, I cannot see, even though I've brought my specs with me. They all look to be I need some confirmation on this. I I think they're all the same resistance. They'll all be 2.5s. This one's a 2.5. Um But you've got crikey. Um Jill was using one for three weeks, Jill being my wife, of course and at the end of three weeks she found the drawer was a little bit tight i replaced one of the uh, the coil assemblies the drawer loosened up again and she's happy as larry now that's the point chris draw mm -hmm. tightness because you like a really tight draw don't you mm -hmm. and i like a fairly slack one um well i've tried the the mt3s which i found were just that bit too airy for me mm -hmm. but i like the ease of them you know the easy refill and all that mm -hmm. and the evod is very very similar you know on the refill nice and easy but it's gives me a tighter draw i wouldn't say it was um you know i don't want to be rude and why am i thinking that's us but never i didn't say that out loud <laughs> did i no um I don't want it quite that tight, but you know, the EVOD is just nice. And I've ordered that for for the long suffering hubby here because I think it would be ideal for him. Indeed. Because I didn't realise you got two for that money and I like a bargain, you know. Forty two quid for two of them it's and it's you know, it's bang on, isn't it? I mean it does mm -hmm. does see on the back of the box. Um where are we? Closer up we come, here we come. Uh you get it says there. Says there, look. Two EVOD rechargeable batteries, two EVOD clear atomizers, five changeable coils, USB wall charger, um, instruction manual, and keep away from kids and keep away from Glenis the Menace and stuff like that, all that kind of stuff on there. So it's not just David's box. But they were asking why there was a, um, a voltage chart. And the bottom line on it is, I think Kanga is well aware that people tend to have more than one device, which is very wise. Of course you have more than one device. Um, and it's just to let you know what works best on which. And again, Kanga does various different batteries. I'm sure the, they must be coming up, I would imagine, with an EVOD twist or an EVOD spinner type thing, mm -hmm. where it'll be with a variable voltage uh, to allow you to do what you like. But yeah, so that's, that's a thumbs up from me. Chris, you? Oh, definitely. Definitely, I really like it, and I've been using the the Evod for a few weeks now, and I, I really do like it. So it definitely gets a thumbs up from me. Well, I wouldn't be ordering it, would I? No, no, you wouldn't. I'm just looking at what chat's saying as well, and uh, apparently, where are we? Tight draws make it sound like a budgies. I don't get that one. Uh, but Mark Shaw saying it's best clear row I've used to date. I assume that he's talking about. Uh, the EVOD. Liana Lawless, tight draws or tight draw? I think we probably need to cut away from that right around about now. <laughs> <laughs> our, our chat does, uh, yes. 
they do occasionally do that but mark mark shaw has just confirmed he is talking about the evod um fm 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 rl femoral says the kit wouldn't be of any interest to me but maybe an evod at the or two would be nice take it from me fmrl femoral the evods are nice at ease if an mt3 is a bit big and agricultural for you then the evod is a really really nice kind of lower down hello cat's gone it looks as though the dis distributed distribution denial of services actually hit her no she's coming back yeah she's back um yeah mark shaw says paul he promises you won't be disappointed good vape and flavor from St i'll put this back up i'll put it back up let's have a look and then you can all see what what chat's saying um good vape and flavor promise you won't be disappointed uh does an ephod atty fit a vamo aha we'll come to that we'll come to that in the bits of kit that everybody should have and what the hell's going on here that's it uh, we'll come back to that um you can't hear me can you not can you hear me no not hearing okay um yes that's all gone to hell in a handcart now where was i yes it, it's in the bits of kit that everybody should have and cat can't hear me look I'll, I'll show you she'll tell you that she can't hear me she's coming up there you can't hear me can you chris nope she can't hear me she can't hear me it's one of those things never mind we'll get it'll come back i'm sure if we need to drop it and restart it we can drop it and restart it we'll do it that way um i'm looking at the time and it's 22 minutes past the hour of nine o'clock which means i should really take some advertisement therefore we'll go into that and i'll try and get chris back and i shall see you in two minutes and then we'll talk about the kind of stuff that every vapor needs to have handy because it's going to be quite a beginnery night tonight so that'll all be good back in two ticks Yes, and we're back. Welcome back to the Here's Hour. Um, here on Thursday, the 28th of March, it's now 9.24 and 8 seconds. Just telling you the time because it jumped ahead. And apparently the whole of the interwebs have slowed down because some stupid idiots are trying to deny service to... Um, anyway, whatever. There's people playing silly burglars on there. And it's a bit of a bugger, isn't it? But, you know, you can't account for some people. Yeah, the question was asked before we went into the break whether or not one of these uh, EVOD cartos would fit on a VAMO or and the same applied to an MT3 and various others. And this brings me quite neatly to the list of kit or part list of kit that every vapor needs to have. And the first of those is the following device. And the following device is not the plinth that this is all sat on but it is what i have got this vision ego screwed into and it's that it's an ego to 510 adapter and i think everybody needs to have one of these in there at least one of these 
in their kit. And that's it. It's a 510 thread on one end and basically turns it into an Ego thread that has both a thread on the inside and the thread on the outside. And the reason for that is quite simple. There are many devices out there that won't take an Ego threaded piece of kit. Take this for instance, which is the natural from Smock that we looked at a week or two back. Now if I was to take this here, um, Vision Ego, that one will thread in there quite nicely, as you can see, because the Vision Ego has 510 thread. But if I was to take one of these out of here, one of these Evods out of here, and try that, I can screw the cows come home and nothing is going to happen because the threading inside is actually on the outer part of it rather than on the, uh, the centre contact because the centre contact just isn't threaded. So that's where an Ego to 510 adapter comes in. You simply attach it like so. No need to over screw it and then your EVOD will screw in. Now in, in better fits there is a gap right we know that there is a gap but at least that gets the EVOD on there and it's working very nicely thank you. So back to close you up you can boink so that's the first on my list of things that every vapor needs. 510 to Ego adapter or Ego to 510 adapter, whichever way around you want to put it. And I've got mine screwed into this Siam Mods weighted plinth that's available all over the place as well. And that is very, very handy for anybody using um, Genesis style atomizers. I said it was both beginners and people that were advanced. So if you're a Jenny user and you need somewhere to work on your Jenny, then there's the little beastie look. You can stick your Arga T in it, screw it in and work on it till the cows come home. And that saves the potential of the thing falling over and juice ending up being all over the place. Very, very handy things to have very 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 handy things to have and it saves doing the old take the, the drip the drip tip out because that's the other way of doing it you can take the drip tip out but of course if you're somewhere you could lose your drip tip anyway very very useful bits of kit to have um other things that every vapor needs to have is either a plentiful supply of paper towels and both chris and i have got shares with paper towel manufacturers because you get through bazillions of them or in my case i think everybody knows i use cloths now they don't have to be particular ones this one as you will see is from spain it's very old this is nearly as old as me you know chris <laughs> i've got one identical to that anybody that, that ever went to mainland spain for a holiday in the in the 60s has got one of these everybody bought them and I tend, I tend to use these, I find it just easier than cloths, uh, than paper towels. But paper towels are also very, very useful. You do need this kind of thing to keep your fingers dry. And if you're into shiny, if you've got shiny itis, same as I have, then you can quite often find yourself sitting with your little cloth just doing that. Just keeping everything shiny. Do you do that as well, Chris? I do. Mine's a red one. You got yours handy? I'd have to go and get it. Oh, well, it's, I mean, I'm just checking. It's, yeah, it's in the wash. No, I've got my other one handy somewhere, though. So I used to have a whole load of blue ones, but of course, doing blue screen, that was a complete pain in the jacksie, because you can never see. But you've got yours there, have you? There you go. There's another one there. Yep. Got to have a cloth. And the third piece of equipment that I am never, ever without, if I am out and about, is this. I'll move that out of the way. Whoops. Doink. Close you up, you can. It's that. And it's not the battery that's in it, it's the box that the battery is in. That is probably one of the most important bits of kit that you can have. Now, 
depending on where your battery comes from, where you buy your batteries, in other words, you might get them thrown in. But if you don't, strongly advise you to carry one around to keep your batteries in. The simple reason being, there are quite a number of occasions where people have stuck a battery into a pocket full of coins, as you do, not thinking, or where your keys are. And they've ended up shorting the battery out. And we know what happens when you short batteries out. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that can be a little bit nasty. Um, but yes, stops them getting shorted. Liana Lawless is saying that she uses plastic bags for batteries. And that's fine, they work well as well. But that, you're not going to stick your fingernail through it. You're not going to see a, um, a, a key working its way through it or anything like that. That's sturdy enough to make sure that you're going to be absolutely fine. So just just a quick kind of, this is the kind of thing you need. The only other thing that I always carry with me is a pocket knife. Um, a multi-tool style of pocket knife that has on it a small screwdriver. And in this case, an orange peeler. Because you always need a screwdriver. Crosshead's always good. Um, and a pair of scissors. And because I'm effectively a hand model these days, uh, a thing for scraping all the crud out from under your fingernails when you've been picking your nose just before you go on telly. Always a good idea. Um, shall we move on to the next Ego style battery? Now, if this is the Ego RS, which has come from vaporworld.co.uk. .co.uk. And there it is. It says on it, look, Ego RS. And the reason I've got my little knife handy is because, and I hope you're going to be able to see this, you'll see a little, a little round thing there and the corresponding little round thing in an oval slot there. I don't know if I can get this any closer. I shall try. No, we're as close as it's going to go. The reason that they're there and that's knurled at the bottom is not because it's a twist. This is a, an Ego battery with a twist but not that kind of twist. And let me show you what that twist is, if I can find me a little nail scratcher. Because if you press that little dot in with something that will press it in, and my nails are shoddy, so I don't do that, both sides, press it in and push, and out that comes, come out, and in there you will see a 14500. So, it says on this one that it's a 900 milliamp hour, 14500. That's what it says on there. There you go. Um, but you can get 14500s, you can get IMRs, you can get protected, you can get all sorts. But that means that with this particular Ego battery, the Ego RS, you can effectively, when the battery runs out of chuck, replace it with a 14500 and you also know how much chuck is left in your battery at any given point in time um, and we just push these back on like so and to all intents and purposes it is then really just a straightforward ego battery that has a replaceable battery bit on the inside that's pretty much what it is now that's available in kit form or by itself from vaporworld.co.uk and it's got the usual one two three four five clicks on and one two three four five clicks off two three four five there we go flashies to come on um as i say it, it it it's kind of just an ego battery that you can replace the battery in um which answers one or two of the questions it does seem odd that the cap doesn't just screw on or off no, I did somebody flush the cars here, was it DD Belgian? Was that me? It might have been, I don't know. <coughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, it's not a bad idea. Um, I've got no idea how long the battery that came with it will last because I've only just had it over around about a week. Um, and it's in use and it does get pressed into use with MT3s and EVODs and stuff like that. It's a pretty decent little battery, really. Um, I like the, 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 the finish of it. This one's stainless, but then I think everybody knows I'm a stainless freak. Um, and it should last and last and last quite well. And as I say, when that battery's had it and won't take any more charge, you can replace it. So if you actually like the way the battery looks, then that might well be for you. And I've just realised I was sitting there doing the hand modelling thing. 
On to close the upy cam and I hadn't changed to it. One more look at it, there you go. The Ego RS in stainless steel. Doesn't screw in, that stops you taking it to bits and fiddling with it and losing your battery I suppose. But you could, if you wanted, carry a few 14500s with you so you would have that going. Anyway, there it is from vaporworld.co.uk. You may like it, you may not, that's entirely up to you. And I'm going to take a drag off the EVOD again. And this is the one that's got the DY4 in, just to see how it goes. What do you reckon of that replaceable, replaceable battery in, a, in an Ego, Chris? Does that appeal to you or not? Not if I've got to use um, a knife or something. No. Um, I mean, it looks nice. Mm. Looks and very it, nice. And it works well. Um, it's putting out uh, 3.4 volts, as far mm -hmm. as I can test. I've tested as, as much as I can see. It's 3.4 volts. It seems to be doing the job, so why not, you know? It's mm -hmm. there. It's there if you want it. It's there if you don't. It's an Ego battery, and it, you can change the battery in it when the battery's flattened, so you don't need to chuck it away. How much is a 14500 these days, Chris? Can you remember off the top of your head? Oh, I can it, but I'll try and find out for you. Four or five quid? Um, probably in that range. Maybe it's a little bit more these days. So it's kind of you're not paying for uh, the whole case and everything when the battery won't charge anymore. Mm. So... It's a, it's a cheaper way of, of keeping your egos up to date, I suppose, which is not a bad thing, to be sure. It's definitely not. Good grief, it's fleeing on here. Um, let's see what chat is saying. Might as well, since we have the facility, we'll cut to there. There might be some... What's a popper done for? Uh, yes, a ballpoint pen would pop the cap ego maniac. You could do it with that, I just don't have one handy. There might be an Ego tube already that takes an 186. There is an Ego tube that takes an 18650, uh, Liana Lawless. And in fact, I have one in my hand right now. Close you up your cam, I'll show you it. There you go. That's the one that you're on about. That's the Ego tube that takes an 18650. It's an Ego T upgrade, is what they call it. Same sort of thing. If you but if you if you don't need an 18650, then fine. Uh, back to uh, back to chat. Where are we at? Yes, that's the King Kong or Ego Mod Tube. What's the state of play for sending batteries through the post? I don't think there's a problem. Uh, how much is the RSDD? Uh, it varies in price depending on whether you get it as part of a kit or whether you get it on its Todd. We'll look that up during the next set of adverts and tell you, but it's not massively expensive. It's quite cheap. It's quite cheap. Um, yes. That, oh, we're back onto pop the doms again in chat as well. Tell you what we'll do. We'll take the second bunch of advertisement. And when we come back, we're going to go slightly on from beginnery stuff onto high-end mods. Um, so when we come back, we'll discuss that. It's, I'm feeling very amateurish tonight, but what the hell. It's all good fun, isn't it? It's just been a heavy couple of weeks. Second lot of ads, back in two minutes. Take care.
6. Sponsors of the Haze Hour. Yes, we're back in the room. We're live again. Back here on the Haze Hour with me, Dave Dawn, my partner in crime, Daz and Keith. And no, they're not. But I do have, I do have in the little box, I have Kat. Say hello, Kat. Hello, Kat. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. We haven't worked. <laughs> All right, I'm an idiot. I don't mind. It's it's not my fault. Pricing, pricing, pricing. Sixteen ninety five for the Ego RS, and we've just had a quick span about for fourteen five hundreds, and they're around about five. You get two for nine ninety five, that sort of thing. Somebody did ask about Royal Mail and batteries. Some of the more enterprising um, vendors, and I I will mention my sponsor, Surfacings here, are experimenting with using couriers instead. And uh, yes, that might well be the way around it because the couriers don't appear to give a tuppenny toss. They just want the business, which is good. But in actual fact, I mean, you can shove a battery in, in Royal Mail. I'd, if you don't tell them what it is, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. But they might be, you know, a little bit hairy-fairy. I have to admit, I haven't bought any batteries for a few weeks, although I do need some more 18650s because my darling wife, now that she's using a Z Max, a Zigelli Z Max, she too is using 1850s and I discover that we keep fighting over the ones I like because I actually like the Panasonics and I keep on giving her AWIMRs which are beautiful batteries and they work very nicely but they're 1600s and I use a little bit more than that on a daily basis. I like the 2200s and she keeps on nicking the Panasonics. I hope she's not watching or I'm going to get thumped. Can I just say something about the, this courier thing? Yes. Um, just to let folk know absolutely brilliant um, because I get a I get a, a, a message through on the mobile phone to say the guy will be here within an hour and it gives me the times exactly when they're coming yes which is a godsend to everybody that well yeah I, so, got, I got a delivery from Surfer Sigs yesterday um, and I got a text to tell me he would be there the driver would be here between 12.47 and 13.47 and he arrived at 13.15 or quarter past one in English money. Keith wouldn't have understood. But yes, I, I think it's brilliant. I'd, I'd much prefer that. And to be honest, if it's a couple of quid more, that's fine. I'll just wait a little bit longer between orders. And, uh, and I've just got a message here to pass through to you, so I'll read it out direct. Go on. Um, from Paula at Vapor World, um, the battery can be charged with a normal Ego charger in the usual way. You only take the battery out when it needs replacing. Oh, absolutely, yes. I was going to mention that, that I, I, I have been charging the Ego RS as though it was an Ego battery. Treat it like an Ego battery and charge it on your Ego charger. That's why the EVOD charger was is, is stuck through next door because I just took the RS off charge before I came in it just screws in thank you for reminding me Paula like my head is like biscuits at the minute you've got no idea trying to keep track of all this nonsensical stuff that's happening in uh, in the EU and, and stuff that's happening in the States it's just it's too much to contemplate it really is so my head's a bit like biscuits products hurtling out and stuff like that talking about products shall we go to the expensive piece yes Let's. but before you do would you mind telling Ed West yet again Biscuits, cookies, cookies. Oh, right, is, is Ed, uh, do you Hold know what? I, I didn't realise that Ed was uh, from, from foreign claims. Is he one of our colonial cousins? Yes. Right. And he gets a bit lost as to what a biscuit is. Well, in this case, my head is like an American biscuit. You know, biscuits and gravy? It's all puddingy, and it's just gone all weird. And I, Yeah, I'm not having a lot of luck at the minute in... in remembering what I'm thinking about so I'm writing all sorts of stuff down and uh, even then realizing that I can't read my own writing which doesn't help <laughs> I should have been a doctor no I shouldn't have been a doctor I'd probably have been a complete uh, yes we'll go no further shall we talk about this you know I said right at the top of the show when I was uh, doing an old git style uh, accent that um, that he'd bought a roller from, if I can ever remember to say this right, at him, at, I can't say it, at him, man, 
Atomazoo or something. At, can somebody? That one. Atomaz I can't see it. Atominazu. Atominazu. At, at, yes, that one in Greece. I can't see it. I can't. I'm not. I'm just not that clever. I can't do it. But Bob got the roller, and I was at the meet, and Bob put the roller in my hand, and he said, "There, oh, Dave, what do you think of that?" Which was was nice. Um, and I got my hands on it, and it was really rather pleasant, beautifully finished, and so on and so forth. And I, I sat and said, "Yeah, you don't want, you don't need anything like that, you know." Um, and the more I thought about it, the more I thought, "My God, it's so neat, and so." pleasant in the hand that in brushed stainless it would have been right up my street so you know what i'm like chris mm -hmm. uh-huh so i went on to the atom oh god at mizzou yes that the at mizzou site uh, to buy one and they were plum out of stock but they had the non-telescopic baby brother if you want to call it that the dingo and here it are this is a dingo now, the dingo itself, as you get it, as you buy it, is meant for 18350s. So it looks, and I hope you can hear how nice those springs are. <coughs> Excuse me, frog in the throat tonight, I don't know why. That's it, right? Now, hands up in chat, anybody that thinks that this tube here is all one piece. Hands up, who thinks? Me. You do? You're wrong. I thought it was as well. I've had it a week, right? It, it arrived last Friday, so I've had it a week. And I thought that that was one tube. You cannot see the join. I mean, that's in perfect focus, and you cannot see the join. But if I grasp it, can you see the join coming? Look at that. No. There you are. Ooh. That's the switch unit, which is purchasable separately. Okay? And the switch, it's a top button, because there is the 510 connector. Now, the clever part about it is, is you can unscrew that, that's the flush one, which if I hold, you can see, look, we're talking gap-free zone here. Or you can get one that's traditional standoff, so that if you're using a 510 or anything that needs to breathe through the, uh, the bits of, of coil, then it'll breathe through the bits of coil. But that's the flush one that I've got in. You get both and you can get that out with a coin. And you'll excuse me if I don't take it out. But if I can, I'll find the other the other part of it. It comes beautifully boxed. At Mizzoni. A-T-M-I-Z-O-N-E. At Mizzon from Atimizu. There's the uh, this is the paperwork that's come with it, he said, sticking it all down. Or as um, Thomas Byer has said, at my zoo. At my which zoo. Which would be very fitting for a dingo. Yes. Dingo, SSM, there's the numbers, and you can see the dates on it. At my zoo, by at my zone. You can probably read that if you're watching this in, in high definition. But this, they, 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 these are all the bits that come with it, the spare... Um, spare springs spare o-rings and the spare top and the spare 510 connector here uh raises it up as i say i'll not i'll not take it out of the unit as it stands comes beautifully boxed perfectly packaged and actually arrived in three days from ordering it and i ordered it on a saturday night i got it on the friday so that was dead good um beautifully machined absolutely beautifully machined as you can see look at that and if i put it up to the mic while i scroll the threads on solid absolutely solid uh cut to that one listen you hear that no you can't because there's nothing to hear basically it's that smooth beautifully beautifully put together back to close you up you can so when you screw this this switch unit on to the base Look at that fit. Look, look at that fit. I can only just, only just see the faintest of lines there. That's how snug it goes. And down at the bottom end, again, 
I can only just see the faintest of lines here. That fit is gorgeous. And this bottom end is adjustable by, by virtue of um, a hex key. It is really, really nice. It is gorgeous. It is beautifully put together. But when I ordered it, I ordered the T003, which is the extension tube, because I am an 18650 man. But so let's screw that in. There we go. Try to do this at arm's length. And again, look at the fit. It's just, I mean, obviously it's it's machined separately from the uh, the whole thing. But again, really not much of a seam there at all. And I'll stick this IMR in it. That spring is very impressive as well, Dave. It's a lovely long spring, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's gorgeous. Now, if I, if I show you inside, actually, I, it's probably easier to show you with the tube off. And I don't know whether I'm going to be able to do... Yeah, I can. You can just see there's a ledge. Inside that tube, there's a ledge. And the ledge switches between a relatively tight fit on on an AW... Oh, God, get this right. There you go. On an 18650, you can only just really see daylight around it. So this will take... Um, a quartered battery, you know, quite a wide battery. Um, I'm not quite sure what the ledge is there for. I'm sure it's there for something. And I know they also make an extension tube that will take a kick. Unfortunately, there were none in stock when I ordered this, otherwise I'd have had it. But again, putting it together, look at that. Look at the fit. Fit and finish on this is incredible. Mm. Put it in the right way around. And as you say, this spring is something else. It's long, it's copper, it's a hot spring. Let's get that together. And there it is, the finished item. Now, you'll notice on the switch, the top button, there's a little pointer, which currently is at 12 o'clock, as you would say if this is 12 o'clock. And the action on it is quite light, very light. But turn it to 3 o'clock, and all of a sudden, that's it, switched off. As easy as that. So it, it is possible to snag it on a pocket, but it's not going to fire and we'll prove that by sticking on this bottom coil cartomizer that I have been using, the vape only one which I do like a lot. Dinky donkey do. And pressing the button, nothing as you can see. But go to the right place, 12 o'clock on the button and it fires. And he's working an absolute dream. I really, really, really like this. Um, pricing, it's pointless me giving you the pricing in pounds because it's in euros and it varies. You can use PayPal when you're on the at atom. Oh, Lord. I can't even call it kettle, <laughs> can I? Zoo. If you go to the Atomizu site and uh, and put the order in, it, it'll tell you what it is in, in pounds when, you, when you've ordered. But you order in euros. Um, I need to give you some idea of, of how it compares to other devices. Let's, let's line up the, the natural from Smock, which is a low cost. And if I put the two together on closely up, you can, I want you to see the difference in, um, in the quality, the build quality, bearing in mind that the, there you go, you can see that there's joins here and here you can't see any joins on the dingo not at all and that i've got to say the smock's not a bad piece of kit the the natural's not a bad piece of kit i really like that as a bottom button jobby but as a top button that's gorgeous let's put it together with um well an evic size wise with an evic you can see i'm doing my best here to be able to let you see the difference they are they are matched up at the bottom but there's the difference. It's a, it's what? It's a kick short of an Evic. <laughs> uh, what else we got? We've got a Z Max here. Z Max again, matched up, shorter again by what? An inch or so, or 2.54 centimeters. You can see the difference. Um, weight wise, oops, that was. Uh, 
that was my Z Max doing a bobo. <laughs> doing a Daz. Daz has been here and everything is just hurtling itself at the floor. Um, I don't often fall head over heels, but I've fallen head over heels with this. I really, really like it. I absolutely love it. Top button falls nicely under the thumb. If you're a fingerer, falls under the finger. Mm, 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 mm. And it just works. As I say, if you want to kick it, you can kick it. If you kick it, it'll take it up to about the same sort of size as a Z Max or an Evic or anything else. Um, it's really nice. What do you reckon to it? You're not on the site ordering one, are you, Chris? I could be tempted. That is beautiful. And I have to admit, when you said you got it, I had a look and I thought, why? It, it's just a tube. Mm -hmm. I didn't realise it was, you know, it all came apart like that. It's absolutely stunning. Do you know something, the, the bit that really gets to me, I mean, I've been sat looking at it. I'm sitting looking at it now. And I'm here to tell you, even with the bifocular glasses on, right, I cannot see the join between the switch unit and that top tube. I cannot see the join. And I know I've screwed the damn thing on. And I cannot see the join. It's, it's machined so tightly. Yes, I can see a join between the extension tube I bought and, and the other bit of kit. Uh, you know, the, the original, if you like. But even so, I mean, the machining is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I have the feeling that it would match that Hellfire of yours. Absolutely. Very nicely, it would yeah. It would be gorgeous with it. Um, it looks really, really nice. Um, well, I've got to do it, haven't I? I've got to put the... Uh, I've got to put the Fogatti on there. It would be remiss of me not to do so. And let everybody see how that looks. That would be terrible. The um, the central connector is adjustable. You can screw that up and down as well. I, I haven't done. But there you go. Close you up you come again. Where is it? Go to other close you up you come. Go to that one, David. And there you are. That's it with the fog out here on it. Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? Uh, go, yeah. go to closey, closey up you come. And put it down there. Look at that. You'd actually think that was a hybrid. Oh, it's so close. It's so close. If I, if I had a little bit of uh, fertile on with the, the adjustment on the Fogatti, I've got it set the long mode on the, the, the coil, on the um, the bottom connector. If I had it set the short mode on the bottom connector, that would make it up. Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? It's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm, I'm loving it to bits I am and I'm not normally one like you say I thought it was just a tube it wasn't until I had a look at uh, I'm sorry MJ Jones and I'm sorry Leanna Lawless I mean it is gorgeous it, it just is if, if you're if you've got shiny itis or stainless steel itis you're not going to be able to avoid this I'm sorry to have to tell you that but it's there I'm not and I don't normally go overboard on things do I but no, it's, it's no. just it is, it's gorgeous, it's lovely, it teams up with the Fogatti perfectly. You'd have thought they were made by the same bloke. Chess asking, have you got an Arga tea there? You haven't, have you? I've got an original Arga, but I don't think it's a tea. The big, the big huge thing. Mm -hmm. What do you need me to do? What about the, um, the next model down? Because a few are asking what the Argas would look like. Uh, mine's the original Arga, the big huge thing. It's, I've got it here, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll screw it on, but it's not, I don't think it's going to match all that well, if I'm to be honest. But I'll, I'll, I'll do the screwage and, uh, and we can have a look. Uh, whilst we're on, you've only got about uh, 40 seconds. Can I overrun a little bit? Just a little bit. Okay, close you up, you calm, Arga. Mm. Actually... <laughs> doesn't look that bad does it that doesn't look that bad i don't know whether you can see it yet chris no that looks very nice actually. <laughs> it does actually look quite nice um there you go and it works does it god i tell you what you can't i've, I've got to go back to uh, close you up you can look at that look at the join and that's on the big yeah Mm-hmm. 
That does look nice. Mm. It does. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I, good God, time has completely run away with us, Chris. Mm -hmm. um, but you were here, so that's fine. Everybody, it's been a, a joy and a delight to be with you tonight. There's been no legal nothings nor anything like that and it's been lovely to be with you and i'm sorry if i've given everybody shiny favor or stainless steel favor i do apologize for that but hey what can i tell you stainless steel is hard and tubular and there's nothing wrong with that until we see you next time it's me and chris saying tatty bye for now and we'll see you Hello. when we see you be good Hello. to each other vape on vape hard See you next time. Take care. Oh, tune in. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll play out with Andy's little doodah. We set that up. I'm going to play out with Andy's trailer. We'll see you next time. Take care. Tune in for Andy on Saturday. Bye bye. Hi, Andy here, Smoke to Vape. And if you like watching my videos, you're watching one now, why not spend an hour with me live on vaportrails.tv? On Saturday at 9 pm, live on Vaportrails TV, I'll be looking at this the UDTL. Yes. This mod right here, it takes an 18350 and an 18650, but not at the same time. That would be silly. Guess how much it is? It's 999. But the question is, does it work? To find out the answer, you're going to have to watch me live on vaportrails.tv, 9pm Saturday.